Good morning, y'all. Good morning, Shaw. What's going on, y'all? Oh, yeah, we got a lot to talk about today. Yeah. I had my interview with John Deere yesterday. All right, what up, babies? I'm about to let y'all out. We're gonna try and pump some more water in the pond. Hopefully the rain rain good enough to make some water run. We'll get some more. Oh, you're jumping today, huh? You happy? All right, let's go child. How y'all doing today? y'all that i was gonna get to the point where all my ducks was gonna be overproducing check this out i got three ducks and i came out and got five eggs this morning and all of them are the same size so i got two ducks that's overproducing how does that look those ducks right there are amazing five eggs this morning three ducks y'all doing y'all thing i appreciate y'all yep i wonder if there's enough water in the creek to pump anything out into the pond today I bet you it's not. Let's go check. All right, so we got a little bit of water flowing. We'll see how this works. I wish I'd have had it full yesterday when I got my call from John Deere, but it was okay. It turned out good. I think they got the gist of what I was trying to show them. And hopefully, we still have some water good when we come back. Because right now, a long ways from being full but we got the hose running down the hill and the pump i'm gonna get a couple more things and bring them in another couple more hoses so i can put the pump up on the hill but um it's working and every time i need water this is what i'm gonna do wait until the rain and pump it out if it don't stay full which i don't see why it won't i will make sure that i put water in it because this, along with some other ones, hopefully someday I'll be watering my yard off of my ponds. So that's, that's kind of the hope. We'll see how that works out. All right, let's get out here on this walk. Good morning, y'all. good news yeah the good news is this morning three ducks and they laid five eggs that's amazing never expected it not one bit how you doing doing pretty good yeah yeah i do this every morning it's my morning walk How you doing? So, uh, basically, oh yeah, the creek is swung pretty good this morning. You gotta admit that. We got a little bit of rain last night. That's why I went ahead and turned on the water, or turned on the, the pump to run some water in the pond. I plan on doing this, doing it like this for a while until I know that the pond has enough water in it. I don't care. It's just gonna keep doing it, keep doing it until the ground gets so saturated that there i don't think that any water is going to ever leak out of it this is clay so i'm not worried about it but i do want to make sure that uh i don't know i keep it full but i'm sure i'm gonna have to drain it a couple times but i just want to see how long it's going to take to fill it without me having to use the water off my house like that's not gonna happen but i did get a lot of it done so i'm sitting here and i'm talking about my ducks the major thing, I, I told y'all that one day I was gonna go out and get six eggs. And I was just saying that, just I was just playing around. I didn't know if it was possible 
or what and i get it i still have it but my point was i said one day each one of them is going to be laying two eggs a piece i didn't know that that was possible but now i see it's possible i got it unless all ducks or unless one duck is laying all the eggs i feel like i got two ducks that have now put out two eggs and i'm saying this morning all the eggs were the same size and shape they are all starting to look consistent and i'm saying in my opinion when the shape starts to look consistent amongst each egg and the size that means they're in my opinion their innards are mature enough to produce a good egg and i feel that uh my ducks are starting to produce good eggs if one is producing two and now two are producing two i'm saying they enters are good enough to produce one good egg they wouldn't be producing two if they could if they couldn't produce one that was good they wouldn't be producing two or five or whatever whatever they're doing i don't understand it i don't know about it yet but i'm saying hey this morning i woke up i saw two eggs that were like uncovered i was like oh i got two and i went in there and moved all the stuff and it's like they hid them from me this morning <laughs> they tried to hide them but i still got them so and that's what i mean it's pretty cool i never thought that i would be doing this but then I, when i heard it was possible i'm like and i kind of feel like they're gonna be with me forever now i feel like my objective is just not to let these three get killed <laughs> that's it and i'm one down on the raccoon so i feel like i owe one more raccoon a thump over the head yep i said that so that cage stays going till we even i guess the point is i gotta get a little bit ahead because i only got three ducks left only way I can guarantee a victory <laughs> is if I get four more raccoons. <laughs> That's how I feel. Shoot, that was just breaking even. That ain't a victory. I need five. Because if they get my last three, they're going to get them all in one night. Because these ducks, they cooperate. They go in the bed like they supposed to. I don't even have to say nothing. I tell them to get in without saying nothing. <laughs> it's like when they see me walk out, one of them, I don't know their names and everybody keep asking me, that's what they asked me on the John Deere interview yesterday. Did you name the ducks? Hey, I'm gonna get to that y'all. We got a lot to talk about. Hey, but no, I haven't named them because I can't tell two of them apart. So I could tell the one that limps apart for two reasons, he limp and he got an orange beak. I can name him, but then there'd be the twins. And they were the only two the whole time. I knew something was special about them. I knew something was special about them. And I bet you they're the two that's putting out the eggs. Oh, they be running up on me and liking me. Uh -huh, they be flirting with me. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna keep on taking care of you. And check this out. This is what's cool about it. In my opinion, they were the only two at the start that had light colored beaks every other duck had a dark a dark orange beak like the one that's limping and i thought that that meant that the two that i had i was like these two are definitely the males nobody wants to talk about it but that's the big difference i can see it i probably said that in the video back in the day I said, I know it's two are males because it's these two. But then it was, a, it was a couple other that felt like solid, like, oh my goodness, they were thicker and heavier. And I'm like, nah, these two are definitely the boys. And those two, it looked like they laid their life down for these other ducks because uh, every time it was a fight, they were the ones that were beat up the most. I don't know if that's because they were the slowest or if they stood their ground a little bit so the other ones can go to safety. I ain't get to see that. But what I'm saying is my males did not last at all. Ugh. That's not a good sign. <laughs> so 
how I view it. The two that I thought were, I don't know, different, unique, they ended up being just that. They survived, and they survived everything so far, and I hate to do this, knock on some trees. <laughs> that junk don't matter to me. I don't believe in that stuff. So, uh, the only thing is they didn't made it this far, and now I see they must be pretty special because, uh, oops, Ooh. they must be pretty special because I do have two that are laying uh, two eggs at a time. It seems like it. Because I know I checked good yesterday. Come on now. And even if that's not true, that means I got one that's laying an egg every day and one that's laying an egg every other day. It don't matter. However you stack it, I got two that's overachieving. Or one. I don't know. Let me walk in that boy one day and see 15 eggs and then we'll discuss, have a different discussion. But right now, I saw five. And I predicted I might get the six. And I'm saying, I feel like I'm going to get there. All I got to do is give whichever one enough time. And I feel like once they see what the, the other two or whoever's doing whatever they doing is doing, hey, they want to step up. But I don't have a reason for six eggs. <laughs> I really am cool with four. But so far, I'm cool with one because don't nobody in the family want to eat it but me. And I've only eaten the one. And I guess what, y'all? I just finished that video last night. So, there we go. Hey, now let's get to that John Deere interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that joint was amazing. See, I go ahead and do stuff like that because people going to have to pay attention for a long time before I get to the good stuff. Yep. People be jumping on my videos thinking I be caring. What I'm saying is, I do that just to get y'all nosy folk out the room in the first place. Yep. Take that long, silent part of my walk to the creek without saying nothing. People be like, oh man, I don't want to watch this. Yep. That was your cue to exit. I ain't the person who try and put flashy stuff in to get you to watch. No. I mean, okay, that's not true. <laughs> hey, what I'm saying is... When I go swimming today, I might shoot a video. Hey, I meant to do that on Monday, but I ran into a few people because I had a little bit of extra time. And I don't like shooting video when it's a bunch of people around me. You're like, what you doing? But I see other people who be just cool with that. And I'd be like, what you doing? <laughs> hey, treat others how you want to be treated. Remember that. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, so let me get back to this job. Hey, that job was amazing. Hey, to start off, a little bit frustrating because I'm not good with technology, y'all. And they was telling me what to do and look. I'm telling y'all, I'm done with that. People don't tell me what to do. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No. Seriously, though, it was a little frustrating in the beginning because they was trying to get me to switch devices and I wasn't prepared. He's like, well, we, can we just get you to switch over to your phone? I'm like, my phone is almost dead. Like, I ain't going to make it on my phone, so I had to use my wife's phone. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean, teamwork. Bing. <laughs> so she downloaded the app on her phone. They they chimed me in, but they was running late anyway, so it didn't really matter. I got a quick charger on my phone. I could have just went and charged it up, which I did, but I didn't. I just used my wife's phone, and it worked out perfect, right? So I did the whole interview from her phone, and they basically wanted to see what I looked like. They wanted to see how I presented myself. I could tell that. It was kind of one of those, you know, tell him to take off his hat and take off his sunglasses. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, I forget. But I was outside. So <laughs> it starts raining. <laughs> and I have a bee chasing me, huh? Like not just one. I mean, y'all know how I smell. Everybody do. Come on now, that statement is true. Hey, them bees be after me. Yep. So I'm sitting there, I'm gonna tell you how the deer were too. Look, I'm out on a video conference with him and it's a deer trying to get in the video. We'll talk about that in a minute too. Hey, look at this. Hey, this looks totally different right now. Maybe because it's got water flowing good. But that looks different. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so I got a bee chasing me. And they asked me, like, can you can you just go, you, well, before the video, they were like, because they wanted me to be on Wi-Fi, but I had planned on being outside, 
my kids weren't and i'm like ah. i'd be walking through the house and i knew i'd lose connection then because once i walk from indoors to outdoors or the other way around like i don't get good wi-fi signal or good cell cell signal so my kids were making a lot of noise they was playing video games yesterday and uh so i walked outside b starts chasing me while i'm sitting there and i'm like ah but it didn't seem to bother them and it didn't bother me then it starts raining but i planned on being outside anyway and it didn't matter that it rained because y'all know how i am like it didn't change a thing for me but i'm telling y'all the interview went amazing so check this out they start asking me questions it's like six people on the call they asking me questions and i'm just answering away and i feel like i'm kind of getting carried away in every conversation every question asked and like they got to remind me of what the question is because that's just the type of person that i am hey i guess what i'm saying is i felt so at home on the call i didn't feel like i was on with john deere at all i felt like i was just talking to some people just like i'm talking to y'all like it was flowing i don't know they asked me about where i got my name from shaw i told them the story about that they they basically asked me to tell them my story and i'm like what story you want to hear because i got a bunch of them to be clear <laughs> and everything came from, straight from the heart that mean i was very sincere and i'm saying i felt like they felt it this is what i'm saying y'all they told me they said just be prepared the interview could be anywhere from 45 you know 45 minutes to an hour i was like okay no problem and i was thinking ooh, that's a long time and i'm gonna have to talk a lot but y'all know how i do oh my goodness i talk that's what i do that statement be true what come through here yep so anyway let me tell you how my interview went now 45 minutes would have been the shortest amount of time and an hour was what they told me to be prepared for it to go that junk went over an hour and a half, yo. Oh my goodness, and I just went with the flow. They was asking me and talking to me, and I'm like, here you go. I ain't gotta make none of this up. This is me for real, yo. <laughs> hey, I'm saying, I feel like this, whether I get it or not, man, it was an opportunity and a pleasure, and it came to me, I wasn't looking for it. It wasn't nothing I could do but get a home run hit. What I'm saying is, hey, what I'm saying is, this video will be out before I hear from them. And I'm saying, the way I feel, the way I always feel, <laughs> I feel like people be listening. And I feel like now they listening for real. And I'm saying, yes, I accept. <laughs> what I'm saying is, hey, when you realize that things don't move you or change you what i'm saying is this just helped me get to my goal this ain't my goal i don't know what my goal is but what i'm saying is i got a brand too and i'm trying to make my brand come true and that's what i'm saying that's exactly what i'm saying my end goal is not to be under somebody but I would definitely love to work with everybody. But I'm trying to get to the top. And ain't nothing out there gonna ever stop me from doing that. I don't even know what the top look like. But what I'm saying is I let y'all know when I get there, if y'all ain't there already. But what I'm saying is, when I get there, I'm saying I'm bringing everybody with me. Hey, what I'm saying is, I don't feel like you're supposed to hold on to no blessings. It's a blessing. It ain't no. It ain't yours to hold on to. It was just given to you. It was yours to hold on to. So what I'm saying is, hey, what I'm saying, I'm blessed whether I get it or not. That's a true statement. And I, I'm saying, I feel like that's the energy that they got from me. Oh my goodness, y'all know how I am. What I'm saying is, oh, I love the opportunity. I already did. <laughs> that was great. What I'm saying is, I love talking to each and every one of them. Hey, one dude connected with me. He asked me, 
Hey, because he asked me if I named the ducks, and I'm like, nah, that wasn't the plan. I wasn't planning on keeping no ducks, but hey, that wasn't the plan. It just fell in line. You see what I'm saying? I wasn't looking for no pet and no ducks. Y'all remember I was looking for a dog. I'm still looking for a dog, but I told him just like I told him yesterday. They asked me if I had any other pets. I'm gonna tell you how I answered, but I told him I wanted a dog in the end. But right now, I just don't feel like I could take care of a dog properly. I don't have the desire to be running him in and out the house right now. I got a lot of stuff going on. So I still gotta wait on that. But these ducks, hey, they relaxing in the mug. Just to watch them walking through the yard, you don't even have to interact with them. Just watching how they interact, it's like, I don't know, but they could just bounce around in the yard all day. It's kind of like having guinea pigs that could be out in the yard. And that's what we got to. He said, do you have any other animals other than your ducks? And they were like, uh, I was like, yeah, I got three guinea pigs and two kids. <laughs> and he was like, uh, you know, oh man, somebody said guinea pigs. I had guinea pigs. He said, only problem is they got a short life expectancy. I said, don't tell my kids that. <laughs> he said, they don't live long. I'm like, yeah, don't tell my kids that because uh, we coming up on three years if we haven't hit it already. I don't know. And the guy said four years for sure. I'm like, oh my goodness. I got to go buy some more. <laughs> hey, no, I love the guinea pigs too. And so we connected on the guinea pigs. It was like, I don't know. I feel like I connected on something with everybody. I don't know. It was great. It was amazing. It was probably one of the best experiences that I've had since I've been out the military. Nah, nah, I mean, it was close. A best experience that I had since I've been out the military still yet sitting on that barber board and talking to the Ohio Attorney General and explaining to them why they should break every rule for me to be the first barber instructor in Ohio history to not have to follow any of your rules. Hey, that's still number one. Hey, but what I'm saying is, John Deere, you coming in at a strong second and I love the way it feel. Oh yeah, that's real. Oh yeah, what I'm saying is, that's how your boy be knowing he blessed. And I just be wanting to get that junk off my chest. Oh yeah. I'm saying, I be trying to tell people, it's always something coming. You just got to be ready for it. And I'm saying, all I've been doing is trying to get ready. What I'm saying is if this ain't the one, it just mean I wasn't ready. And I take that on the chin and I go do it again. Hey, John Deere, you still gonna be my friend. I still love the tractor. It don't matter if we do business or not. I'm saying I'm getting business. This boy making me money already. Forget that, it don't matter. I'm saying, shoot for what you want. You gonna get something. Oh yeah. And that's a very true statement. What I'm saying is, don't shoot at something if you don't wanna hit something. Cause boy, if you shoot and you was just playing around with your target, it's always something that might be standing on the other side. So that shot makes a difference. That's what I'm saying. I try my best. Whoo! <laughs> hey. I guess what I'm saying is, I don't, I really don't view no man or nothing above me. What I'm saying is we all have the same fate. It's just how much time we got to wait. Yes, we all have an expiration date. None of us are gods, only funding separates us. Funding, that's it. And that don't mean nothing. Given enough time, oh yeah, I'm gonna be looking at you. <laughs> but you gonna be looking at me from behind. <laughs> yep, that's right. I don't, well, actually, that's a that's a, that's not true. I don't feel like it's ever a reason to look back. Nope. Hey, I got fond memories. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, and I don't ever feel like I forget where I come from. And I make sure don't nobody where I come from forget me. That's what I'm saying. I feel like we supposed to take care of each other. But don't think that's one-sided in any way. <laughs> what I'm saying is if you ain't producing nothing, look, I'm saying even my ducks, they produce, they wanna be here. And that's how they showing it to me. What I'm saying is, 
the, remember what I was telling y'all, the brown ducks didn't want to listen to nothing I say. Get them out the way. They gone. All the white ducks was just getting killed off. So now, I ain't want to kill them. But they had to go because I couldn't get, I couldn't, couldn't come to terms with them. Period. Look, if you don't want to be here, you ain't got to be. But don't mess up life for everybody else. So what I do, gave them another home. I don't know where they went, but hey, you got a new home. Now, I got three ducks left. They show up where they supposed to be when they supposed to be. They be in the yard. They ain't bothering nothing. They ain't running off and doing nothing. Hey, when it's time to go to bed, they go get in the bed. They been a pleasure. Hey, they got me wanting to buy them snacks and treats. Treat them real nice because they doing, they working, they cooperating with me. And what I'm saying is, now, <laughs> They showing me they love me. <laughs> what I'm saying is, they tried to produce two eggs a piece. What I'm saying, they earning they keep in my in my opinion. They earning they keep. Dad gone. They earning they keep. And that's how I think. Why would I get rid of them? I didn't jump back off on these ducks. Oh man, I'm supposed to be out here talking about some giant deer. Hey, what I'm saying thing is. That junk was amazing yesterday. <laughs> but I got another blessing today. You hear where I'm coming from. I don't, I guess what I'm saying is, I don't feel like it's no blessing that's any greater than any other. What I'm saying is I was blessed to wake up this morning. This gave me an opportunity to be better than I was yesterday. And what I'm saying is, I feel like I was damn good yesterday. But that's gonna be a lot of pressure on the day. And what I'm saying is I feel like I'm bringing the same energy today. Oh yeah. I just gotta find another opportunity. But I'm gonna tell you, that was a thrill. That was a thrill for real. I loved it. I loved talking to them. Every last one of them was super cool, super nice. I mean, they 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 brought back things in my life that I wasn't even thinking about just through the questions that they asked me. It made me have to rethink a lot of the, I, I don't know, like, they just kept asking me questions and, and why. And it was like, whoa, I love getting questions because I love seeing if I have answers. And what I'm saying is, if I don't have answers, then I need answers. Why? That's the kind of guy I am. I want to know. Oh, my goodness. Like Joe. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I be wanting answers when I don't know something. I don't like not knowing. And that's why I'm an honest type of person because if somebody wanna know something, I'm like, look, I know how I would feel if I don't know something, so I'm gonna let you know something. But boy, you gotta be ready to hear the truth. Cause, whoo. <laughs> hey, and that's what I said. They asked me like, how did you get the name Shaw and Skilled Hands at Work? Where did that come from? And they tried to tie that junk to being a barber and I'm like, you better cut that out. Skilled hands at work is because I feel like anything I touch is gonna turn to gold. But barbering, if you want to say so, okay, yeah. But I'm saying, hey, if I after I get ten thousand hours behind this tractor, I'm gonna be skilled hands with that too. I'm saying once I master it, only reason people want to put this mastery with barbery is because I've been doing it for over ten thousand hours. I've been doing this my whole life. Only thing I've been doing more and longer is skating. I'm saying I've been skating since I was two. I've been cutting hair since I was 10. I'm gonna say it again. I've been skating since I was two. I've been cutting hair since I was 10. What I'm saying is, you ask me why I move like I do, I'm telling you because it's what I love. I done put in them hours on the floor. I done put in them hours on the clippers. Hey, give me some time. Give me 10,000 hours of walking out here. I'm gonna show you what it do. That's another statement that be true. Oh yeah, we ain't even did a year. Just to be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was on the phone with him yesterday. Guess what? I saw a deer. Hey, the deer just sat there. I told him, I said, see, this is why I got Penny. I said, because there be so many deer out here and most of them be does. And I said, that Penny don't be liking them coming at me because Penny like my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I left this one with a whirlwind. Hey, I'm telling you, I had a good time on that call with John Deer. Uh, hey, so I took a screenshot 
because what I'm saying is I don't want people to be feeling like ah you just be talking what I'm saying is yeah that's true I do I just be talking but I be walking too you see it it's true oh my pants got all wet they came out my boot hey I guess what I'm saying though the junk was amazing and I told them thank you for the opportunity I thank them for the opportunity because to me that means I'm heading in the right direction. That was, to me, what happened yesterday was just proof that if you keep working hard enough, and really not even hard enough, you just keep working in the direction you wanna go, you will get a result, and this is proof, y'all. You know how? Because I kept walking in the direction I wanted to go and I didn't came to the end of the video. That is proof. This is where I started. I was walking this way. I was bound to get here. What I'm saying is, hey, John Deere, it's nice of y'all to meet me too, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what it feels like to me. I know, hey, a brand got to start somewhere. And if you don't feel like you a brand, what I'm saying is, ain't nobody else going to treat you like one. And what I'm saying is, I ain't going to have nobody treat me less than what I feel like I'm tr supposed to be treated like. And I feel... I want people to treat me like I'm their equal. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that's what I'm saying. But I'm gonna work with them. <laughs> I'm gonna work with them and I appreciate it. Hey, like I said, thank you for the opportunity. Am I does this make me seem cocky, yeah? Uh, it, I don't feel like it because what I'm saying is I feel blessed and I feel like this is just proof of it And so I feel like It's already there the blessing is already there. I ain't trying to say I got it. What I'm saying is I Achieved something and that's more than I ever expected Everybody don't get a participation award And I just did <laughs> Hey, y'all let me get off here. I got to get to the pool Hey, much love, much respect. Hey, this your boy. And we out. Hey, uh, I thought one of my ducks was missing. I looked over, and all I saw was the two light skin, or the light build, light skin, the light build, the ones with the light build. And I was like, where's my other duck? I thought he got snatched because they were sitting there looking in the woods for him. Hey, check it out, y'all. Bag on genius over here. Got himself trapped in the cage. Why did you do that, buddy? Why did you do that? All right, let's let you out. Let's see how you get out. Now get with the other ones, please. Come on. That was pretty sad. There they go. They looking for you. There they go, baby. Reunited and it feels so good. Reunited. <laughs> hey, that was crazy. Yep, y'all good. All right, let's see what's going on with this pond, though. Is any water going in still? Yep, it is. So, I gotta turn it off now, but the ducks are doing good. Look at them. I can't believe he got stuck, that's a first. But I gotta turn this pump off because it's gonna run out of gas, so. I'll turn it off real quick. <laughs> 